Hey everyone, Chris here, and I'm here to clear up a lot of confusions. In one sentence, why wasn't Spider-Man in the Avengers? Well, that's a deeper question that I wanted to answer, which is who owns what in the Marvel Universe? Because DC is straightforward, Warner Brothers owns all the properties, and those characters can come in and come out anytime they want. But Marvel is not that way. What happened was, Marvel uh, was a smaller company when it came to film, their studios would collaborate with other studios to make the movies on characters that they had licensed out. So in other words, long story short, they licensed out a lot of their popular characters to different studios to make movies and to make money on that. By licensing out the characters, Marvel gets some money on the top without doing so much work in making the whole movie, and that way they didn't have to put up all that money and get all those loans uh, when they weren't an experienced company making movies. So they licensed out X-Men, Daredevil, and Fantastic Four to Fox, and they licensed out so um, Spider-Man and Ghost Rider to Sony. Well, what happened was, a lot of their other characters were licensed out too. Like, I think the Hulk went to Fox, and Captain America and Iron Man floated around. But basically, what happened was, a lot of those studios started reverting back the rights of those characters to Marvel because they didn't make the movie. Uh, Marvel puts out a contractual uh, obligation that they have to make a certain amount of movies every year. So some of these studios didn't think it'd be profitable, profitable to make Iron Man. Uh, I think they made the Hulk, but they, you know, it was kind of a bust. So they, a lot of those rights came back. And so what happened is Marvel got the rights back to Captain America, Iron Man, uh, Hulk, and Thor. And they said, these are the essential characters in the Avengers. We've already collaborated making movies. So what they did is they applied for a loan and they started making the movies themselves. Marvel Studios owns the rights to those characters that appear to Avengers and anyone else who's not part of the X-Men, Spider-Man, or Fantastic Four universe. Sony owns Spider-Man, everyone in the universe that's associated with it, and all the villains. Fox owns all the X-Men, a lot of the mutants, and the whole Fantastic Four universe. Daredevil's rights have been reverted. They had to make a movie every seven years. The last movie they made was Elektra in 2005. So Fox reverted the rights back to uh, Marvel because I guess they didn't think it'd be profitable for them to make a Daredevil movie. They went to Marvel for an extension and Marvel said, we'll give you an extension on Daredevil if you give us Galactus and Silver Surfer back, which are part of the Fantastic Four universe. So if I just confuse the hell out of you, just know there's only three studios that own Marvel properties. Sony with Spider-Man, because Ghost Rider reverted back as well, I believe. Fox with X-Men and Fantastic Four. And anyone who's not on those is owned by Marvel. That's why I made that Namor video a while ago, because Namor's a mutant, but he's not really owned by Fox. He's still owned by Marvel because there's certain characters that are not uh, owned by them. Common misconceptions. Universal Studios and Paramount don't own anyone. Universal does not own anyone. It's on record. Kevin Feige said it. Paramount is just a distributor for a lot of the movies. If you don't know, a distributor is kind of the middleman between theaters and studios that make the films, and uh, they get a little fee on top. They do not own any characters. Um, I've heard it also said from other people that uh, the Avengers was a collaboration between different studios. It was not. Marvel Studios was the only studios that worked on that film and had all the rights to all the characters. It was not a huge collaboration like people think. They owned all those characters, just like they owned Black Panther and uh, Namor and other characters. That's their characters. So in short, Spider-Man wasn't in the Avengers or Wolverine wasn't in the Avengers because they're owned by different studios. And for that to happen, they'd have to come to an agreement where Sony let Spider-Man be used in a Marvel movie. And for them, it would benefit them for uh, exposure and making a little money. Uh, and for the Avengers, it'd probably get more views and more money for them. So it's, I think, a win-win situation. We hope to see it in Avengers 2, or at least some cool Easter eggs or cameos. But that's it. That's the short video I wanted to make. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good new year. Have a nice day.